Hello and welcome to another Strobe 2 tutorial. I'm very excited in this video to be showing you a new update to Strobe 2 which is Strobe 2.3. The big news here is that Strobe has been updated to work even better with MPE compatible controllers. I'm demoing it here with a Rolly Seaboard Rise and the super exciting news is that if you're a Rolly Seaboard Rise or a Rolly Seaboard Grand customer, Strobe 2 now comes bundled with your hardware. And that's not just for new customers, that's for existing customers as well. So if you are an existing Rolly Seaboard customer, get yourself over to Rolly.com and register for your copy of Strobe 2. This is a full copy of Strobe 2 worth $179, so it's really worth having. And the great part about getting 2.3 is that it now comes with 200 MPE compatible presets. So that's 200 five dimensional presets that you can use straight out of the box. So in this video, we're going to take a look at 2.3 and we're going to have a look at some of the presets. And I'm going to show you how the Seaboard Rise integrates with Strobe 2. Now I did do a video on MPE integration a while ago, but some things have been updated. So if you've already seen that, this video will still be worth a watch. So let's get stuck in. First of all, in order to get access to the factory MPE presets, you need to head on over to the browser and head to the library drop-down menu. And under here, you'll see MPE factory. Select that and you will have access to the 200 MPE presets. The other way to do it is to go to the artist tab and scroll down to Rolly. And just like you can with any other factory presets, you can go to the type drop-down menu and select a type of preset that you want to browse. So here we're looking at all the base presets. It's worth me mentioning that this video isn't going to cover the basics of Strobe 2. Um, I will assume some knowledge about the Transmod modulation system. And if that's new to you, then go and have a look at some of the other Strobe 2 tutorials on the FXpansion website and have a look for Transmod. Specifically, that's how modulation is applied in Strobe 2. And we'll be doing a bit of that in this video in order to cover some of the five dimensional functionality. So what are the five dimensions of the Rolly Seaboard Rise? Well, first of all, we have strike. That's the velocity, which is how hard you hit the key. Then you have glide, which is the horizontal movement, which allows you to do vibrato and to glide from note to note. Then you have slide, which is the vertical movement, sliding up and down a key. And what happens when you slide on any given preset is often different, so it's always worth exploring with new presets to see what slide will do. Then we have press, which is pressure, how hard you lean in to the note once you've activated it. And finally, we have lift. And lift is how hard you release the note. So you'll see in the Strobe 2 interface, just underneath the scope here, that we have five tabs named after the five dimensions. Strike, glide, slide, pressure, and lift. When you select one of these tabs, what you'll get presented with in the scope is a curve. And this allows you to modify the response of that particular dimension. For example, if I select the slide curve, you'll notice that on any one key, if I trigger a note and then slide to the top, you'll notice that the scope gives me live feedback of this modulation source. And I can use this curve to alter that modulation. So here I've put in a curve that means I'll reach maximum modulation level much quicker than I would have done with the default curve. It's worth noting as well that there is a slew parameter in each curve which allows you to sort of slow down the response, apply some slew like this. It's uh, perhaps only noticeable on larger numbers. That can be useful for just generally smoothing the response out. So how does this slide curve apply to the sound itself? Well, up here in the Transmod Modulation Source, we have various new sources. If we go down to the Synth tab, you'll see here Strike Curve, Glide Curve, Slide Curve, Pressure Curve, and Lift Curve. 
And these are the five curves that we've just looked at. And we use these as transmod sources. So you can see with this slide curve that the slide is affecting the detune of the oscillator, the stack amount, and the sync. So once again, when I slide upwards, you can see visual feedback of those parameters being affected in real time. And that's really the basis of how you apply the five dimensions of the Rolly Seaboard to the parameters inside Strobe 2. So just for fun, let's go over and apply some lift to this patch because currently it doesn't have any in. So lift again is how hard I lift my finger off the key. I'm going to start by doing a curve which is uh, quite extreme, but what it means is that lift will only be activated at the very highest level. So normal playing will not activate any kind of lift unless I lift off in a very dramatic way. So we'll select the lift curve modulation source up here in transmod. And so that lift is audible, we'll increase the release of this patch somewhat so that when we take our finger off the keyboard, there's still some sound to alter. And then what we'll do just to make it really audible is increase the sync. So let's see if that works. So you can hear there, if I do it softly, nothing happens. The sound doesn't change when I release the note. But if I release it more dramatically, you'll hear that lift engage. So that's really the basis of transmod modulation. Uh, one more thing I want to point out is that in each of these curves, you'll see just here a curve source. You can get away with ignoring these completely, but these show you the sources of the curve. So the curve is just changing a transmod modulation source. You'll see that strike is based on the note on velocity. Glide is based on the polyphonic pitch bend. Slide is based on polyphonic slide. Pressure on pressure and lift is on note off velocity. The one that you may want to change is in slide. There are some new transmod sources in 2.3. Polyphonic slide is what's used by default. What that means is relative to wherever I play the note on the vertical axis, slide will engage from there. So it doesn't matter if I start here and slide up, or if I start here and slide down, the sound is the same. But there is a mode worth knowing about, and that's in the poly menu, and it's polyphonic slide absolute. And the absolute mode means that the slide modulation actually depends on where vertically I play the note. So you'll hear the sound change depending on where I am on that note. So what about the sliders and the XY pad? By default, they are assigned to modulation sources in the performance category. So we've got performance one, two, and three, and those relate to slider number one, two, and three. And then we have performance X and performance Y, which is tied to the XY pad. So that's it for this tutorial, version 2.3 of Strobe 2 with brand new MPE five-dimensional functionality but most of all, very exciting, if you are a Rolly Seaboard user, Strobe 2 is now bundled with your controller. And there are 200 really fabulous presets there for you to play. Thanks for watching. I shall play you out with a few of these lovely presets.
Thank you.